Okay, so the idea here is to set up a micro Kubernetes um, cluster. Um, this is for development purposes, and it's just the process I'm going through to get uh, a basic setup working. And it's twofold: one, to learn uh, how to set up a micro Kubernetes uh, cluster. Uh, you can set it up with just one machine, or you can set it up with multiple machines. Um, and I think this process is just to document uh, what I'm doing to get everything working, and then obviously to test it. So there's there's quite a couple of steps uh, that one needs to go through. So one of the first things um, uh, to explain here is I've set up two old laptops. Uh, they've both got eight gigs of RAM uh, with Ubuntu, uh, the latest Ubuntu 20.04. And um, I've enabled uh, them to boot only into a terminal, so it uses less uh, memory, so it's not using X Windows. And I've just set up the Wi-Fi networking, so it's not the fastest network because it's Wi-Fi. Um, and then I've also enabled um, the OpenSSH server, and I encourage you to go look in, on how to do that. It's very simple to set up. Um, and then on my local machine, which is a Windows machine, I've got... Um, the uh, Windows subsystem or Linux subsystem running and let me just open two of these so basically I've got Ubuntu installed on my local machine and um, on Windows and the Windows subsystem for Linux allows a terminal based uh, um, Ubuntu to run now the reason I'm doing that is because it's quite comfortable being in um, uh, Linux terminal and then being able to SSH into uh, my two laptops. I don't actually have to set up uh, PuTTY or any of those things. I can just use the Windows subsystem as is. Um, and then in my host file, I've just uh, for my two IP addresses. Um, so if you look at um, at my hosts file, um, I've just added uh, two. Um, my two IP addresses for my um, laptops, and that's they're sitting on 192.168.8.101 and 115, and that's Ubuntu 1 and Ubuntu 2.local. Uh, and I've just used, used those namespaces, so it makes it easy to, to find them. And I've got a Docker instance running uh, on this machine, but I don't have, I think, anything else set up on, on those laptops as such. So what you would then typically do, you do an SSH, and my username at uh, ubuntu one dot local. It's just going to ask me if I want to accept the SSH, and this will will be the same if you have virtual machines running with Ubuntu, uh, either on a private cloud or on a public cloud as well. Um, I assume everything will be the same. So I'm just going to log in, and I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to do an SSH Cornell at I've just been switching between the the different keyboards uh, two dot local okay so I'm logged in and then um, the idea is that we run a, a set of commands uh, to install the the micro Kubernetes uh, it's a it's a snap install um, you can just search for micro Kubernetes on the Ubuntu website and it will basically uh, give you the instructions on how to install it but it's very simple um, so we're just going to run the uh, command on each thing um, you have to install it as super user and I'm going to do the same here Okay, so that's going to take a couple of minutes to install, and when we come back, we'll look at the, the next section.